Hi, it's putting together a quick tutorial on how to minimap the Tractor Control S2 Mark II into DJ Pro for Windows 10. Now, basically what we need to do first of all is to get our unit into MIDI mode. Hit both shift buttons together and you're in MIDI mode. That's it. That's what we've got to really worry about. And then we're going to load up our DJ software, DJ Pro. Okay, and it's detected the control, which is great. The problem is when you click on OK, there's nothing there. So, hey, what do you do? Well, what I've worked out is we need to put one entry in here. So with that one entry, we will just simply hit the play button on deck one. And when we get back, you'll see it's picked up its location. The target, as I said, was deck one, and it was a play pause button. Simple, done. You can test it if you want, doesn't really matter. You're not going to hear any audio because of copyright reasons. And if I turn back and just hit the play button here, you'll see that that deck is playing and it will stop as well. Okay, next step is to jump onto the DJ Tech Tools website and I'll leave a link below for this. Uh, we've got one gentleman or one person, I can't say it's a gentleman, I think it was, um, has left a nice little mapping that they've set up themselves. And it's going to save you hours. So I've put out a big thanks to these people. Brilliant work. I know there's a few little issues. Always is. And they've got that in their notes. You need to download the file. Once you've downloaded it, copy it onto your clipboard because you're going to need it. Okay. So what we need to do now is get that done. So you've downloaded the file. You've copied onto your clipboard as suggested. You go to the burger menu. You go back to MIDI settings. Go to configure. And there's no import-export here. There's nothing for Windows. I don't know what it's like with the Mac. But if you go to Edit Configuration and drop down, Show in Explorer, it'll give you the file that you're going to need. Or the folder, in fact, I should say. So this is where it is. It's very difficult to try and find this on Google. I've had no luck at all. So once you've found this, you've copied that file from the download, simply paste it in. Okay, you can close that out of the way and you need to close the software down. Okay, we're reloading DJ Pro right now and it's all come up, come up well. So what we need to do again is back to the burger menu, to MIDI settings, go to configure and drop down and look at this. Wham! Look at all this. How much work have we just saved you? It's been a brilliant job. So once you've done that, just click on to done, and then you can give a bit of a test if you like. So we'll jump on, we'll give it a go, we'll load a track. Again, you won't hear anything, copyright, we all know about it. So we can hit play, you see the deck will play for deck one, deck two is going to play as well, crossfader is going to work. Uh, you can try EQs, okay, they're all moving around beautifully, bass, mid, highs, your tempos. Okay, they're all working. So it's been really well put together. So all your beat map jumping, all those sorts of things, your loops, they're all set up as well in there. So I hope I've been able to help save you some time because it certainly took me a long time to sort this one out.